Sophia. Please tell me how information travels in a computer. Sure, Romy. The hardware and software are used for this purpose. I am very excited to know what are these. Let us learn about hardware and software in this chapter. Dashboard Hardware Hardware is the physical part of the computer that you can touch, feel and see. For example, the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse and much more. Apart from computers, the book in your hand is an example of hardware. Other examples of hardware are pencil, eraser, desk, because you can touch and feel these things. Main components of hardware. The main components of hardware are as follows. Let us learn about them. Input devices. Input devices are devices which allow us to enter data and instructions into a computer to carry out various tasks. The most commonly used input devices are keyboard and mouse. Let us learn about some input devices in brief. Keyboard The most common and popular input device is a keyboard. It is used to enter data and instructions into the computer by typing. The most common type of keyboard is a QWERTY keyboard. It is called so because the first six letters on its home row are Q, W, E, R, T and Y. The keys on the keyboard can be divided into four parts. Typing keys Alphabet keys and numeric keys. Function keys. F1 to F12 keys. Navigation keys. Arrow keys. Home, end, page up and page down keys. Control keys. Control, shift, alt, windows and escape keys. Mouse. A mouse is a pointing input device in which the action is performed with the help of a cursor. It is a small palm-sized box. A mouse has two buttons, left button and right button. In between these buttons, there is a scroll wheel. Other types of mouse used nowadays are optical mouse and wireless mouse. Joystick A joystick is the only input device for a high-level gaming. It is used to move cursor and in selecting different items on the computer screen. It is controlling device that consists of a handheld stick. It can also be used in place of a mouse as an input device. Scanner A scanner is used to read text and pictures printed on a paper. It translates the information in such a way that a computer can understand. It works in the same way as a photocopy machine. Different types of scanners are available these days. Flatbed scanner, handheld scanner and sheet fed scanner are some of the examples. Light pen. A light pen is a pen-like input device which is used for entering data by writing on a computer screen. It is connected to the monitor by wire. Graphics tablet. A graphics tablet is a computer input device that is used to draw images in a similar manner in which we draw images with a pencil and paper. It consists of a flat surface called a tablet and a pen-like device called a stylus. This stylus is used to draw images on the monitor which can be saved for later use. Barcode Reader a barcode reader is used to read printed barcodes. A barcode is a series of black thick lines which can be found in many products. A barcode reader scans a barcode image, converts it into text, which is then fed to the computer to which the barcode reader is connected. It is used in libraries to scan the barcodes on the back of the books. You can also see salesperson 
scanning the barcodes from the labels of clothes and groceries at the time of billing in shopping malls. Touch screen. A touch screen is a screen that you can touch with your finger to process information. You can see the touch screen on mobiles, washing machines, microwaves and ATM machines. Webcam. A webcam is a video camera that is used to provide a visual input. It is mostly used as a video conferencing equipment. Output devices. Output devices are used to display the result after the data has been processed. Let's discuss some of them. Monitor. A monitor is the display screen of a computer. It is also called a video display terminal, VDT and Video Display Unit VDU. The output displayed on the monitor is called a soft copy. Nowadays, flat screen monitors are used. Printer A printer is a very important output device as it prints the output on a paper. The output obtained is called a hard copy. Different types of printers are available these days. Commonly used printers are inkjet printers and laser printers. Projector A projector is an output device that takes the display of a computer screen and projects it on a flat surface. Projectors are often used in meetings and presentations to enable everyone in the room to view the presentation clearly. Speakers Speakers give audio output to sound produced from a computer. There can be internal as well as external speakers. Wireless external speakers are also available these days. Headphones Headphones are a pair of small loudspeakers that are designed to be worn on the user's ear. They are also known as ear speakers or earphones. Only one person can listen to music from a computer with the help of this device at a specific time. Plotter Plotter is a special type of printer that is used to produce high quality printouts. It is specially used in desktop publishing offices. Storage devices Storage devices are used in the computer to store data. We require storage devices to store our data for future use. A hard disk is the main storage device to store information in a computer. There are many types of data storage devices. Some common storage devices are as follows. Pen drive, CD or compact disk, DVD or digital versatile disk, Blu-ray disk. Processing devices, CPU, or central processing unit is well known as the brain of the computer. The process of changing input data into meaningful information is called processing, which takes place through the CPU chip. The CPU chip is always kept inside a box, which is called the CPU box. The CPU is made up of three main parts. Arithmetic logic unit, ALU, it does all mathematical and logical calculations. Control unit, CU, it manages all the operations of a computer. Memory unit, MU, it stores information temporarily and permanently as per the need. Software, software is a set of instructions given to the computer to perform a given task. It includes all the programs of an operating system games, data, and much more. For example, Paint, Notepad, MS Office, Logo Scratch, and Windows. These are the components of the computer system which we cannot touch, feel, or sense. Different types of software are used to do different types of work. There are three types of software in general. Let us know about them. System Software a collection of programs that control the overall operation of the computer system is called a system software. It basically reads data from input devices and transfers the processed information to output devices. 
The best example of a system software is the operating system without which a computer cannot work. Windows and Linux are two examples of an operating system. Application software. The software or the set of programs designed to perform a specific task is called an application software. For example, MS Office, Microsoft Edge, Photoshop, etc. These programs are user-friendly and highly interactive. Programming software. The software on which the user performs programming on a computer is called a programming software. Some examples are Logo, C, Java, Small Basic, Python, and C++. Dictionary, Hardware. It is the physical part of the computer that we can touch and see. Input devices. These devices allow us to enter data and instructions to a computer to carry out various tasks. Output devices. These devices display the result after processing the data. Storage devices. These devices are used in the computer to store the data. Processing devices. These devices help the computer to process the data. Software. It is a set of instructions given to the computer to perform a given task. Let's refresh. Hardware can be anything which can be touched, felt or sensed. For example, output devices, input devices, storage devices and processing devices. Input devices are used to enter the data into the computer. Output devices display the result after the data has been processed. Storage devices are used to store the data for future use. Processing devices are attached to the computer to process the information. Software is the component of the computer system that cannot be touched or sensed. Software are of three types, system, application and programming software.